this is uh, near the Aka village of uh, Banyafu, which is about two kilometers above the Aka and Lahu villages of Banjale. Um, it's only roughly about 20 kilometers outside of Changrai to the uh, west, maybe slightly north um, in, uh, in the hills. Um, there's lots of uh, natural forest here where the hill tribes have been living for uh, several decades. Uh, okay, this is um, very near to the village of uh, Banyafu. Uh, Aka village and this is uh, some of their um, ceremonial um, structures which uh, they've obviously used for the, um, their traditional ceremonies. Uh, they have um, usually have uh, gates uh, to enter the village and um, they perform the ceremonies uh, for you know good harvest and other such things uh, over there is growing corn uh, and bananas over in the field beyond there uh, is natural forest with a lot of bamboo growing in there this is very near the village um, that's why uh, they built these uh, uh, bamboo ceremonial structures for the ceremonies uh, right here um, but as you can see uh, apart from the track they've got going to the village here and the small area for farming it's all very natural um, yeah there's uh, some burnt wood over there Uh, and uh, out there is the natural forest, uh, quite diverse, a lot of different uh, tree species and undergrowth. Um, yeah, now is rainy season, uh, rain coming down. Um, but really the uh, hill tribe people and especially the Acre have been denigrated and in uh, some of the official government documents they criticize them for their slash and burn agricultural methods uh, implying that that's destroying the environment uh, <laughs> obviously to me that that is propaganda because uh, when you come to the uh, Acre villages like this one um, where they've been living for decades if not longer uh, you can actually see natural forest growing around uh, often uh, if they move their fields and then start using some other forest areas they'll uh, cut it down and burn it um, but the natural forest going all around very quickly moves in and uh, regrows so that they're not destroying all of the forest okay evidence here of uh, some burning which they've done to clear the area but beyond there natural forest uh, with diverse species they will move in very quickly if the village moves um, so the hill tribes, although they are using uh, what could be called slash and burn methods to clear a little land like this to grow their food, uh, they are not actually destroying the, the environment. Um, uh, okay, a lot of people using bikes and pickup trucks to get to the village. Um, uh, okay, well, if the government moves in with their projects, uh, they cause um, a lot more destruction than what the hill tribe people do. Uh, if the government moves in, say, uh, with a national park or a forestry 
project they'll often be uh, replanting it and um, clearing more land for their roads and causing a lot more destruction um, over in Laos I know there are dam projects that move in and move the hill tribes uh, they cause a lot more destruction uh, the hill tribe people live close to nature like this and um, they respect it uh, they grow the food they need on the land and um, they don't destroy the nature around um, if they do move the village um, a village is made from natural bamboo um, mostly natural products although these days they are using a lot of more like uh, uh, materials like concrete and um, metal uh, for fencing and other things uh, but traditionally they use bamboo and wood and that very quickly um, decomposes and the nature moves back in because the forests all around are natural and they will very quickly move back in so the hill tribes are not destroying the environment um, uh, so that uh, um, denigration using the phrase slash and burn is a lot of propaganda on the part of the Thai government and also other um, other states around the world use the same methods to, to try to take land from the hill tribes and other tribal people. So okay, this uh, it's um, a ceremonial site very near the village. <laughs>